Hello viewers, welcome to JS and RS Solution YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing great. Today I will show you how you can represent a small or large number of data as a special distribution map in JS. For instance, I will show you in this video uh, like 10 sampling locations of sediment collection from a river, extracting river boundary from where samples collected, preparation of laboratory data in Excel sheet for JS input, conversion of KMZ file of sampling points and river boundary into shape file in JS, and finally how to show specific parameters as a special distribution map based on sampling locations and river boundary. Hope this tutorial will help you a lot. You can see here the sampling locations. We have collected 10 sediment samples from this river. During sample collection, we took the GPS location. You can see this 10 sample points here in the Google Earth. After collecting the samples, these were sent to the laboratory for some selected heavy metals analysis. You can see here the test results of some heavy metals of sediment like lead, chromium, uh, copper. We are going to show these parameters as a special distribution map of each sampling station. To do that, uh, we need river boundary to show the extent of heavy metals of the collected sediment samples. You can extract river line using a uh, satellite image, but uh, for this kind of a study, it is the best way to get uh, accurate river line. From style and color, uh, you can uh, change the outline and you can change the color. It will help to uh, draw river line easily. name river then okay so uh, creating river uh, boundary has been done save places as file name uh, you can rename the file name then save and you can see here the saved file sampling point and river line now open arc map and uh, first uh, i will uh, convert kmz to shape file so for that go to conversion tool and from kml 
click KML to layer and add a KMZ file as input KML file. You can uh, change the output location where you want to save or otherwise it's okay. Then okay. You can see here sampling point and from here you can change the color for river poly uh, river polygon outline color fill color you can change the color as per your preference now uh, click on point and then data then export data output feature class create a folder where you want to save your output file so i'm creating a new folder in desktop and i'm going to rename it as the results output and here uh, rename sampling point as fast uh, i'm going to uh, create a uh, sampling uh, sampling point then yes so sampling point uh, share file has been extracted and then uh, ripper line go to data and then extract uh, and then uh, output feature class rename it i'm going to rename it as river save as type shape file and then save and okay uh, yes so you can see here uh, sampling point and a river uh, line shape file has been done you can change the uh, symbol color outlet color and sampling point uh, symbol you can change the angle and size decrease the size and ok and you can check the level feature check level feature From attribute table, you can see here FID 029 for 10 sampling points. So we have to arrange uh, uh, these uh, laboratory results according to this FID. So I'm going to uh, create another column and uh, name uh, as FID. So as per uh, the FID of our map. This FID for sampling points and this FID should be same. We will join this data uh, in the arc map according to this FID. So it should be same. This FID and the arc map ID. And then save this Excel file as uh, save as and then save as type will be uh, csv comma delim delimited and then save yes and after that uh, add this excel file go to the folder where you have saved the uh, data and then add you can check the data from uh, here you can see here if id name and the data and uh, join data from sampling point join and relates and then join and you can see here choose the field in this layer that the join will be based on so i'm going to join based on fid and then uh, data csb uh, choose the table 
to join to this layer or load the table from disk then ok now you can check your data is joined or not so here you can see the data has joined uh, successfully so you can see here if id name and the, this uh, data zoom to layer and from properties you can change the uh, layer uh, name size and shape you can change the color fill color will be no color and outline color uh, select any color from here and now I'm going to uh, perform a special analyze tools I mean interpolation for special distribution of uh, these parameters so uh, I will use IDW method input uh, point features will be sampling point and then Z value field will be the parameter uh, so first I will uh, do for chromium and then you can save the output raster in a folder where you want to save and then go to environments and then processing extent uh, will be same as uh, uh, layer river and then uh, raster analysis mask data uh, mask, mask will be as a river then ok so you can see here uh, interpolation has been done using IDW method so I have done for uh, chromium so, chromium C1 C chromium concentration and it will be uh, milligram per kg unit for sediment heavy metal and then go to symbol symbology and then uh, classes I'm keeping uh, six classes and format labels you can reduce the number after fraction and color ramp you can change the color ramp from here so I'm going to select this color and then okay so you can see here uh, the first map for chromium uh, has been done and similarly you can do for all other parameters so again input point feature so it will be sampling point and then uh, and then z value field uh, you have to select other parameters so i'm going to do for uh, let now and then environments and then processing extent and uh, extent will be as uh, river and here uh, raster analysis so mask uh, will be as river then ok and ok you can see over here uh, for let the special distribution map for let has been done And again you can uh, go to properties and then classes I'm going to keep uh, six classes and then from label uh, four and then I'm going to change the color so you can see here for let spatial distribution map for each location has been done similarly you can do for other parameters as well so it is the process basically you can change the sampling point uh, symbol uh, color here now uh, from insert you can add legend legend items then next next finish 
now i can increase or decrease the legend uh, font size so for that go to properties and then select wall and here uh, select the size that you want so i'm selecting i have selected 18 and for legend uh, okay you can see here it looks good and uh, north arrow direction so i have selected this one and title let concentration and unit will be milligram per kg and the scale uh, for grid uh, new grid then next and then appearance labels only new and new then finish properties it contains uh, the font intervals you can arrange uh, as per your preferences scale uh, bar select then properties and you can change the size and uh, bar size text size also from properties scale and units you can change the division units as kilometer or miles then ok and ok so similarly you can do for others uh, parameters as well here so here uh, i have done for two parameters and similarly i can uh, do for other uh, eight parameters and then you can save uh, you can export the map we can change the file name and resolution you can increase or decrease the resolution so i'm going to keep it as 800 then save so we can see over here the final output so here is the one map lead concentration i think it is very uh, pretty simple i hope uh, you liked this tutorial and uh, thank you thank you for being with us and thank you for watching